Agora vamos conversar com um palestrante internacional, aqui do Congresso Internacional de Franchising. É Nier Titri, ele é professor da Universidade da Carolina do Norte, Greensboro, é, da Universidade de Administração, e veio ao Brasil falar sobre Big Data. Nier, very nice to have you here with us. Thank you very much for having me. To start, I would like to understand what is Big Data. Uh, big data has a lot of dimensions, five characteristics. Uh, first thing is a lot of data, which is uh, every day uh, people, government, businesses generate about uh, 2.5 quintillion bytes, which is 2.5 times 18 zeros, one 18 zeros bytes of data, a lot of data. Uh, and in the last two years, 90% uh, of all data generated worldwide On, in the last two years, so that is volume. But uh, other things important in big data are that uh, they have to make decision very quickly, that data have to be analyzed, processed, and acted on very quickly, that is another thing. And also data come in a lot of different forms, like numbers, uh, and we call the unstructured data, like uh, video, audio, email, take, social media, post, and all those uh, different varieties. And also data come from a lot of different sources, like you get your data from the government organization, your company's point of sales, and your, your audio, and video, and a um, lot of your uh, supply chain partners. So These are, these are some of the important characteristics of big data. And with all your experience with big data, uh, how can help the franchise companies? Uh, in big data, uh, franchising companies can use big data in a lot of different ways. And the example that I gave earlier uh, that came from McDonald's, and although there are these uh, McDonald's uh, about uh, close to 35,000 uh, franchises all over the world, and McDonald's is centralizing all the data analysis. And at the same time, McDonald's has all those customized type of stores, and each store is different. And so the McDonald's, basically, the Data allows uh, the company to uh, have the local restaurants make their own decision to some extent. Another example is that uh, Mac, uh, the big data also helps these franchisers and franchises to resolve the conflict. Uh, one example is the US franchiser, the Great Cliffs, and which has more than 32,000 these uh, stores in the US. And the stores are complaining that there is a cannibalizing because uh, the, the Great Cliffs is giving too many licenses and great clips use the data from the uh, people's information uh, the individual's address when they go to have their hair cut and also how much they spend when they go to uh, the uh, franchisee uh, every time and analyzing those data and also uh, more stores also give some adv advantage because it creates a higher level of brand awareness and also a uh, higher level of brand awareness means that might help uh, attract people from the competitors, let's say Supercard, and um, Great Cliff's finding is that only in 4% of the cases each year a new store is open, the existing stores would lose sale, and finding indicated that uh, nearly one third of the cases actually it is, it is beneficial to the existing stores, and that type of information uh, helped them to resolve the conflict, ongoing conflict between uh, franchises and franchises. So in a lot of different ways, franchisers and franchises can benefit from uh, this big data analysis. And uh, as I understood, you have two different sides. Mm -hmm. On one side you have all the infrastructure Correct. of uh, putting all this information with the right speed and mm -hmm. everything and security and all this. And on the other hand you need good people right. that knows how to analyze and use right. all these informations. Right. In your opinion, what are the biggest challenge to use big data here in Brazil? Right, yeah, all the big data experts say that strategy first, data second. That means companies first have to know what is the, what is the business decisions in the company that they can they can improve with big data then maybe they might have to try with small data first and uh, basically convince the people in the company that data driven decisions are likely to work well and um and challenge in brazil 
uh, and all over the world actually right now is the shortage of people a data specialist who understand uh, this data and in the in the US there is a shortage of about 1.5 million people that is a finding of the McKinsey consulting company and there might be a shortage of people and also people with multidisciplinary skills and teams like they need uh, people with business schools like MBA degrees or people with the mathematics skills to analyze the data people who think strategically so Basically, the people thing is the is the first thing, the most challenging thing, and technology comes after that right now.